spent over five hours on this design same on this one as well but less than two hours on this particular design but as you can see clearly that this one looks just like these ones or even better but how can you spend less time on a project and still get a desired result i'm going to share with you five strategies i use that save me hours of my time when i'm designing so you can apply it to your workflow to design more beautiful and effective flyers within some few hours and that will make you a lot of money let's start with the background Church flyer backgrounds can consume a lot of time because a solid background gives you a solid flyer. So instead of designing everything from scratch, just log on to Pinterest and search church flyer background. Go through it and download as many backgrounds as you can. So this is how I do it with Pinterest. When I come here, I just search church flyer background. And as you can see, there are a lot of already made background for your church flyers. So you go through them. And then you download as many as you can and also one thing is that you can search for a specific color so let's say blue church flyer background right now all the backgrounds here are blue so you now have a selective choice to i mean make a specific choice of the ones you like to choose a specific color that you prefer or you can search let me say white and as you can see these are also white backgrounds it's very simple to search for your church fire backgrounds on Pinterest. So after downloading everything, all you need to do is to just select the one that you use for your project. You will select that and then you just import it. If you have to add anything to the background to spice it more, you just do it. And this will save you hours of your time trying to design it from scratch. And for you to quickly come up with a style for your design, mind you, whatever thing you want to create have been created before by somebody. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 9 that there is nothing new under the sun. So what you have to do is find those great works and then pick inspiration from them. Put them together and come up with your unique style. It's that simple. Just go to Pinterest or Instagram and search for the kind of flyer that you want to design. You will see a lot of them that has been done by other designers. Pick some one or two ideas from them and put them together to get your unique style. Instead of thinking about how you can come up with your style for a particular project, this method is fast and effective to give you the best result your clients will have so that's how i do it i always go to pinterest over here all that you do is you search church flyer design oh design great and then as you can see there are numerous of church flyers here on pinterest so all that you do is you scroll through the ones that reflect your design i mean the one that reflects the project that you have been given that's what you download one tip for searching things on pinterest is that you can also go straight to the point and also search the specific flyer that you are designing it can be bible study it can be reviver you can use the theme of the flyer to also search for that specific kind of flyers there may be flyers like that that you can easily get inspiration from that and then you use that will also help you in your search for inspiration so what i always do is i go through it like this and if i see something like that i mean the one that reflects my project what i do is i right click and then i open a new tab uh yeah so i go through i right click i open a new tab so as many as i can i go through and i open a new tab and when i'm done i just go to them and then i'll download them by clicking on this three dots here and then download image and it will be in my so i just choose a folder so let's say um downloads here and then it will be saved on my pc so you download as many flyers as possible so you can make an informed decision for me what i always do is that after downloading them i go through them again to select the ones that i really need for the project and i import them into photoshop to work on them so after choosing the best ones i go to photoshop and over here i click on new file and i create a new document but i make sure that i make this one checked if you uncheck this one you get a different result and i set the dimensions for my project and i name it or i can even leave it i will name it later so um, i set the dimension and everything for my project and i click on create so after your workspace has been created what i do is i go and then import everything that i selected from the ones i downloaded i go and then import all of them here in photoshop mm, i don't put it on the canvas i put it at one side like this like this and so let me do it really quick for you to see what i'm trying to say I hope you guys can see what I'm trying to do. I don't do it roughly like this. I make sure I arrange them, but it seems like I'm because of the video I'm doing, I'm making. That's why I've scattered them like that. So you take your time and then you arrange them like that. 
so over here there's your canvas i mean the artboard one and these are your inspiration these are the things that you are looking on to and this is where i pick my style and my concept very easy and then simple and convenient if client did not give you a color scheme to follow the fastest way you can come up with a color scheme that works perfectly for your project is by copying colors from top notch design when you want to be really fast with your design process choosing colors by yourself can consume a lot of time so this is what i do i go to pinterest and search for the kind of flyer i am designing so let's say church flyer design so you go to them and then you select the ones that you can use for your project i mean the ones that you can pick the colors for your project let me show you what i practically do most of the time i go through them and then i select the ones that i think the colors are nice to me that i can use in my project let me use the one i have downloaded to show you what i do almost all the time when i'm designing so this right here is a flyer that i downloaded so what i do is i import it in photoshop right beside my project so let me show you what i mean by that okay so right now that you are here in photoshop i'm going to use this design right here to show you how i copy colors from top no design so i will import the design i downloaded on pinterest i go to file place embedded and this is the design that I downloaded. Let me put it at one side of the flyer, like so. Yeah, like so. And I'll click on the check mark. Uh, let me position them in the middle a bit. Yeah, zoom in small. I think this one looks good. So I'm going to change the color of this rectangle behind it with alumni to that of this. So I'll right click on it to select the rectangle and then click on where the fill is to change the color. And then I'll use it color picker to pick this color here yeah and i'll click on ok and as you can see the color has changed and i'm going to do the same with these two triangles but the, but uh, with these two um, arrows coming in this one i'm going to use this color here and this one i'm going to use this color here so just look at what i'm doing and i'm trying to show you how i copy the colors so that you can also use it in your workflow very simple color overlay and i click on the color picker and I pick this color. I click on OK and then OK again. As you can see, it has changed. And then I'll right click on this one too as well. And I'll come here, um, FX, color overlay. And then I pick the color as well. Very simple. Okay, so sometimes when I change the colors on this design and then it's not working for me, I look at the design that I'm copying colors from. As this one, you can see there are many colors. So I just go ahead and change the colors and use different colors from that same design. So I'll hold on Shift plus Alt and then I'll duplicate the entire artboard at one side like this. Okay, so after copying the artboard, all that I do is that I change the colors on the new artboard that I copied so that I compare the colors to, I mean, both of them, the one that will work better for me. Let me show you what I'm trying to mean. This time around, let me select the time. Let me do it really quick one for you to see what I'm trying to say. So basically that's how it works copying colors from designs like this is very simple this is what i mostly do when i don't want to waste my time coming up with my own color palette and it's always worked for me it's very simple to do as well let me know in the comment section if it's really simple now when it comes to font for church flyer design if the font does not fit your project then it means the flyer may not work and choosing the right font for your project can be stressful but this is what i recommend there are some particular fonts that will work for almost all your designs that were no two ways about that so favorite those fonts in the font selection panel of your preferred software so me that I always use Photoshop or let's say I mostly use Photoshop for all my projects what I do is that um, I come up here and then if there are fonts that I think I, will, I may be needing them almost all the time on my projects to make my work very simple and easier I just look for them so let's say Roboto I I I where is the Roboto yeah I just click on the star here to favorite it and then let's say let me look for Montserrat let me search for it Montserrat. Okay, so here, uh, where is the total family? Let's see if you can. Montserrat. Here, here is it. So I favorite it. Okay, so if you want to see your favorite font, when you come up here, click on this star here, and then your favorite font will be here. So this is where the one that I favorited for this particular tutorial. Me personally, I have a selected fonts like that. I use them and they work like magic. Let me know in the comment section if you want me to share that selected fonts with you in my next video and then explain how I use them and how you can also use them to speed up your workflow. Many designers do not pay attention to this when they are designing. You will see their layers scattered in a layers panel. 
do well to give and arrange your layers when designing. This will help you to easily locate every single layer in your layers panel. So if you want to make changes, it becomes easier and then faster. Okay, so I'm going to use this same design I designed some few weeks ago to show you how you can group your layers in Photoshop. So when you come here to the layers panel, you can see I have grouped some already, theme, date and time, venue and the rest. So these ones, I mean the layers over here are for the background. So everything here constitutes the background here. So what I do to group them is I select the first layer, like this one, the download five. And then I select the last layer. So to select that one, I have to press and hold on shift on the keyboard. And then I click on this one so that I will select everything in there. Then I press on Ctrl G on the keyboard to group them. And as you can see, I'll just double click on it and then I'll type the name that I want to name that particular group. So in my case, it's background, the background. Perfect. As you can see, it is very simple to do and it makes your layers panel very clean. So whenever I want to make any changes, you can open up the group and then select the element to make the change. Or you can just come here, right click on it and then select the particular layer to make the changes. When you are done, you just close them. Just close them to make your layers panel very neat. I'm very sure you have heard of this popular saying that no shortcut to heaven. However, in your design process, if you want to be fast, you must use shortcuts. Learn some basic shortcuts and how to use them to speed up your workflow. For instance, here in Photoshop, if you want to save something, you don't have to come to file and then save us and then um, select the particular file type, uh, let's say PSD, and then choose the name. That's a lot of work. So what you can do is that you press and hold on Ctrl plus Shift plus S. This pop-up will come and you select whatever you want to select. It's very simple and easy. And for that matter, if you use Photoshop for your design, then you need to learn how to use the top 10 keyboard shortcut that every pro designer uses to speed up their workflow. You'll find that in this video right here. Click on the video right here to learn them and know how to apply them to speed up your workflow. But until next time, quench not your creativity. Peace.